Brittany, we're in South Sacramento where one of those uh, Lunar New Year events was happening today and people here are just devastated hearing this, particularly during a time that is supposed to be a time of celebration. People of all ages gathered on the first day of the Lunar New Year all over South Sacramento, like here at an event hosted by the Sacramento Chinese of Indochina Friendship Association. We're celebrating the New Year. So for people who are in, uh, not in China or Vietnam, they, they can't out the home. This is like their home away from home. Taking part in traditions together. To me personally, I think is um, the unity. Warding off evil spirits and bringing in good luck for 2023. Typically a time of joy, but today many can't help but think of the 10 people shot and killed last night in Monterey Park amid their Lunar New Year celebration. What I heard of that is um, pretty nerve wracking to, to, to say the least for lacking of word. The shooter's motive is still unclear. And I'm really hoping that it's not like hate crimes or because I, I really got enough of that. That's like, you know, enough is enough. At an event down the street, at the Vin Fat supermarket, President Su Ying Plaskett had been so busy coordinating the festivities, she hadn't yet heard the news. Oh my God, I'm so, oh, my heart's come down. So sorry to hear that. It left her at a loss for words. Sad. Other than that words, how, I don't even know which to represent my feeling at this moment. It's given some more to reflect on as they think about their hopes for what the year ahead may bring. It's easier said than done, but I think people need to learn to live, you know, live together and live in peace. Nonprofit Stand with Asian Americans released a statement saying we feel as though we can't even celebrate with our families and loved ones without fear. They say they're here to show solidarity with Monterey Park and uh, the community of Alhambra. Live here in South Sacramento, Lizay Mitri, KCRA 3.